the kings of clubs. So I, I have the king of clubs and the six of spades, which means I have an artisan, a noble, and the themes are labor and war. Um, I'm going to tell something of a fairy tale and remind me of the butcher. Um, long ago, there was a noble. He stood upon his castle walls, and below him, after the face of the cliff that for some reason he had built his walls upon, there was a field, and the field was sodden red. It had always been this way. The dirt was red, the grass was red, the trees that grew there were red, the leaves were red, and people who walked through it found themselves muddy and darkened just by the way the field acted. And he noticed in the field there was a small pile. But for some reason it was silver. It was covered slightly red, but at, in the morning, the early morning, the sun would hit it and it would shine ever so much brighter. And he wanted to remember that as he died. For the days were growing long. So he found a carver. And he told this carver, I want you to copy the brilliance of that hut in the morning. And the carver looked out in the field and could not see it. And the nobleman said, just wait, you'll see it, don't worry about it. And in the morning, when the sun shone upon the field, it grew dusty. As a wind picked up and took all of this red, and blew it into the air. And in the movements of the wind, as if propelled by something, there were the chasings of horses, even the clashes of spears. And the carver set to work immediately, for this is what he thought the brilliance was. And as, as the nobleman looked out, he still only saw the brilliance of silver, of that one hut. The dust was nowhere to see in his eyes. So when the carver presented his piece to the nobleman, the nobleman looked down and saw the forces of mo motion, the field of battle, bloodshed, for and nothing, nothing brilliant, only, only death. And he asked her, what is this? I, I wanted you to, to make this shining silver light that I, I could see in the morning. And the carver said, but this is what you saw. You must have seen the remnants of a war from the eyes of a noble, as opposed to the eyes of one of the kind. You see the shining silver light of glory, but we see nothing more than the dust beneath your feet and our bones grounded into the earth. We see nothing but bloodshed and pain, and you only see the good side of it. So this is what you saw. This is what you truly saw. Not your crowns, not your castles, but only 